Let's take a tour of Minecraft Education and explore all the resources and settings that are available to you as an educator. Now, the first thing I'm going to point out is on the home screen in the bottom corner is the version number. This is especially important if you're going to be using multiplayer in your classroom, meaning you're going to host a world and your students are going to join in with you or your students are going to collaborate together. Every student will need to be on the same version of the game. This hanger here allows you to change your skin or what you appear and look like in Minecraft. Right now, I'm this redstone specialist, but there's different menus where I could select the plus and that'll expand that menu. Or I could scroll down and I like this everyday hero skin pack and being an astronaut. It's pretty out of this world. So let's dig into our settings. In settings, I can adjust different options for accessibility. I could read in on how to play. Or I could change controls if I'm using a keyboard and mouse, using a controller, or even using a touch device. In general, I could adjust the audio if I don't want to have a classroom of Minecraft music playing. Or I could adjust the video, changing the brightness. Or if I don't want to see the character bobbing as they move throughout the game, I could do that. And I can also adjust the language that I want to see in the game. So let's go, go into play. In play, I have the ability to go to my worlds. In my worlds, this is going to show me all the previous worlds or projects that I have worked on. And if I'm working on a project over multiple class periods or an extended period of time, I can go in here to continue working on that, or I could host it or manage it by making a copy of it, exporting it, or even deleting it. Now, when I say I'm going to host it, I would be given a code and then this is where your students or whoever you're collaborating with, they could select join world and they could enter in that code that you see on your screen. To import it, just like in manage, you saw export, you would be given a world file. On import, this is where you would then import that world file into Minecraft education. I could also select create new and that'll give me the option to create a brand new world. And now let's dive into our library. The lesson library, library is where we have all kinds of subject kits full of pre-made lessons that are available for you. Now I encourage you to get started on how to play and, and start here. And here, this is where you'll have six different categories where you're gonna learn how to move or place blocks in Minecraft or break blocks in Minecraft, interact with different blocks or using some unique blocks like the book and quill for assessment and using the portfolio or interacting with chalkboards or NPCs. Now we can also go back to our starter worlds and this is great to have a place where you're going to have build plates. Build plates, our most basic one, are blocks of grass. A plain, empty, infinite world, just grass and a beautiful blue sky. This is great for math or if you're wanting to just be creative. But then in our build plates, each of these build plates is set so that each student goes to their own designated area and they just build in that unique spot. In biomes, this is great if you want to have a specific setting or ecosystem that you're building or learning within. And then we have our build challenges. And our build challenges are great to and are meant to be an easy to launch activity space for any educator to get students building and collaborating together. Every month there's a new build challenge for you to explore. But then we have our subject kits. And like I said, there are thousands of pre-made lessons ready for you to use in different categories and subjects like computer science, where you can dive into cyber or AI or coding, but then other options like math or science looking at language, art and design, social studies, career education, and even esports. So this is a quick tour to get you started with all the settings and places to explore in Minecraft education. There's more to learn. Check out our Minecraft Teacher Academy courses and other learning opportunities at aka.ms forward slash MC Get Trained.